Today's video, I am sharing my annual leave with you, my trip to southeast Italy, Puglia, the Puglia region. If you think about Italy as being shaped like a boot, then Puglia is the heel. So I visited her, we visited on my uh, in a week over a week, Lecce, Ostuni, Monopoly, Brindisi, Bari. Not in that order, but we visited those places. You may be interested. This is my video of it anyway and I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up uh, down below. Thanks a lot. It's the city of Lecce in Puglia. If you imagine Italy as being in the shape of a boot, then Puglia is the region in the heel, it is the heel. So that's where we are in Lecce, in Puglia, beautiful city. Beautiful old streets, beautiful architecture, Baroque architecture. waiting to go on a walking tour there now we're going on a walking tour of Lecce and underground Lecce apparently so we're just standing here at the Basilica there's a famous Basilica in Lecce called Basilica, Basilica de Santa Croce I think um, and mass is actually going on there at the moment Plus, beautiful morning here in Lecce um, beautiful city a lot of Baroque architecture very very attractive, very easy to negotiate, navigate, easy to get around, it's a small place, a small city, but uh, beautiful historical buildings, historical streets, and the remarkable thing yesterday was we were walking around on a Saturday afternoon and it was so quiet and so peaceful, it was incredible because if you walked around any other major city in Europe or even a minor city, anywhere in the world probably on a Saturday afternoon at half two or three o'clock it would be uh, it would be alive and busy and noisy and so on not so here but uh, it was beautiful it was like going back decades in in time uh, yesterday so funny strange strange experience
train from uh, Lecce here to Monopoly then tomorrow we're moving on but today we're just doing a sort of a day trip and heading up to Monopoly which as I say is on the Adriatic coast the boat. I'm after getting some great photographs because the guy down there after bringing in his haul of fish is selling the fish. He has them divided up into crates and he's selling the fish to the general public there and uh, I think the other ones there are bringing in fish and they give them to him and he's selling them to the general public but that's why people are gathered down there. I was wondering why and I've gone down myself there to take photographs and so on and uh, it's, I've never had the opportunity. Probably might have again taking photographs of a fisherman actually just selling his fish at the quayside or port side or whatever, and uh, making his living. Fair play to him.
very quiet beach here in Ostuni. Ostuni Beach. We got a bus out from Ostuni to the beach today. We thought we'd have a day off at the beach. The bus ticket cost a euro, so good value here in Italy in public transport, in food, beverages and so on. I'm buying beer there at cafes and bars and so on for three euros. 350, 4 euros, and branded stuff as well, the Heineken, the Peroni, etc. So, good value still to be had here in Italy, especially down south, southeast where we are in, in Puglia region, which is the heel of the boot if you think about it. And that's the Adriatic Sea actually there behind me, and next stop after that sea is Albania. So this is Brindisi, we're flying back to Ireland tomorrow from Brindisi airport so we're spending one day in Brindisi, this is down at the port area in Brindisi.
Roman column there behind me is the Roman column. It's supposed to be the marker or the marker or uh, signify the end of the Appian Way. So the Appian Way was a famous road built from Rome right down to the south for trade and so on. But this column, the Roman column, is supposed to signify the end point, the terminal point of the Appian Way. Here's here's it. It is here. steps that I'm walking down now are called Scalinata Virgilio, Virgil's steps and apparently Virgil, the famous uh, Italian poet, lived uh, just around here or spent the last days of his life in uh, one of the houses just close by here so that's why these steps are called the Scalinata Virgilio. You can see the steps there behind me. Thank you.